Hey everybody, the Bongus here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play, Arafel for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this is a game that was chosen for the 2016 Christmas special, and this game can be found on Steam. I don't know how much it is now, but I did get it when it was on sale. So without further ado, let's get started. Would you like to have access to the story mode ability? It allows you to kill enemies instantly. Um, you know what? I'm going to take it, but I don't have to use it. Like, this will be good for grinding or something, so we'll just take that with us. Um, I say we'll just enable them for now, and you can change it any time. Would you like to play through the prologue? Is recommended that new players do not skip it? Yeah, let's view it. This music definitely has its charm. Yeah, this is one of those RPG maker games. How much farther is this place? You better not have dragged me all the way out here for nothing. We're getting close. And trust me, it's here. Yeah, the blonde fellow's name is Adrian, not Link. Even though it looks like Link from Hyrule Warriors. The girl's name is Lita, not the wrestler, or former wrestler. So yeah, it is a turn-based RPG, but I don't think it should be too long. Yes, I am aware that I'm doing two RPGs in a row. What are we even looking for? The archery competition is tomorrow, and I was not... Okay, I guess I'm not going to be reading that. Alright, so yeah... Thing is, I didn't want to do two collectathon games in a row. So I was like, you know what? I'll just do this one. Because if I did Legend of Dragoon next, that would have been two long RPGs in a row. And I definitely was not going to do that. Apparently, there are vampires in this universe. This is a nice cave, too. Wow, that's a really big door. Yep. There are elven ruins behind it. That's what everyone says, anyway. It's been sealed for a long time. Nobody's been ever able to open it. But that's not why we're here. I got a tip that there's another door that opens a secret passage. A secret passage, huh? Well, that does sound kind of fun. But, uh... Who is this contact of yours, anyway? I love adventuring as much as the next girl. But this whole trip seems kind of weird to me. I mean, we're really looking for a hidden passage in a cave with an ancient sealed door that nobody's ever been able to open? Yeah, I know. My contact is some kind of collector or something. I don't really know the details. What I do know is that whatever it is he wants, he thinks it's here. That's the beginning and end of the conversation, as far as I'm concerned. It sounds like you never even met the guy. Because I haven't. These people have come to me with a gig. I do it. I get paid. Simple. And this job pays more than all the other ones combined. It's less talking and more looking, okay? Ugh. Alright, fine. But I want double my share. Papa grounds me. Deal. Let's not get caught. Now then. If there's a hidden door in here, we have to find it. You look around. I'll check over here. Okay, so I can't really... I'm using my controller, but I can't use the D-pad. So I have to use the analog stick to move around. Press enter or space on places where it looks like a secret door could be. So on my Logitech Tech controller, I was able to talk to Adrian by pressing the A button. It's using Xbox 360 controls. I can press Y to crawl. X uh, doesn't do anything right now. B allows me to go to the menu, so I can save my game if I so choose. Press A to go forward in a menu. And okay. Oh, that just tells me reminders on how I can do my quest. Yeah, the book is thousands of years old. Oh, this door looks... This wall looks a little suspicious. Found it! Ah, Adrian! I think I found it! Yeah? Let me see. Well, you don't believe me or something? This has got to be it. 
Ready to go inside? As I'll ever be. It faded to black before we even got in there. More ruins. Wow! Look at this place. It's like there was an old castle under here or something. What do you think it is? Abyss, if I know. Just be careful. Who knows what kind of monsters are hiding here? Monsters? If I didn't know better, I'd say you sound worried. It's, a. Uh, well, this place is supposed to be haunted. You're joking. We open a secret door to find a lost treasure that's been hidden away for a thousand years in a haunted ruin? Possibly. Oh, this is lovely. I can't imagine what could go wrong. Just watch yourself in here. I'm sure we'll be fine. It's probably just a legend anyway. Just a legend. They're going to etch that on your tombstone. Let's go. Oh, they're not going to say he's a legend. Oh, there's a broken bridge. Damn, this bridge is broken. I wonder if there's another way across. You know, I think I can jump it. Oh, come on. You'll kill yourself. You sound like my mother. I can make this easy. Just watch. If you say so. Press the action button to jump over some small gaps like this one, as well as up broken stairs. You can't jump, try moving and back to the area you want to jump over. There you go, I did it. There! That wasn't so bad. Here, you try now. Uh... You know, this armor isn't exactly made for jumping, Lita. You'll be fine, you big baby. Come on! Well, this is a great way to die. Alright, hold on. Ow! Damn it! See? Easy! Hey, are you alright? Ugh, I landed funny. Rolled my ankle. It's nothing serious, but I thought hiking through here will be tough. How about you do me a favor? Can you make me a life potion? I don't know how. It's easy enough. Just find me some herbs, a few crystals, and a little stardust. I'll show you how to do it. There might be some around here somewhere. Okay, you get a quest, and they're kept in the item menu. Alright, so let's take a look, shall we? Quest, a potion. You got your skills over here. So I can use story mode to kill enemies instantly. Or I can use power shot for the cost of like 10 MP. Alright, here's your status. So technically I'm an archer at level 1. And these are my stats. I have a bow plus 1. Weight is on so that I can go through like what my options without enemies attacking. And row is obviously for like putting your enemies, or putting your party members in front or behind. Can I jump over here? No. This entrance a little is too little to walk into, but if I crawled, I think I might be small enough to fit. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a key. Why there's a key there, I'll never know. Huh? What's this? A key? You'll be reminded to save periodically as well as before dangerous events. There's no risk in using these. You'll get a chance to turn back. Yeah, I'll just save over my uh, file that I did before. I'll take the key. I wonder what it unlocks. That doesn't sound good. Oh. Leaf cutters. They're not normally aggressive. Maybe I'm near a nest. Well, all I can do is fight them off. He doesn't scout and an archer with high single target damage. She can scout enemies using the scout battle command and analyzing an enemy's stats. She gets a free attack when using this ability. Scout is a battle command, not an ability. So this is beneath the defend command as is escape. In battle, combatants will slowly restore magic every time they perform an action, including actions that consume magic. Out of combat, health HP will restore over time. Enemies are powerful, but regeneration offsets that. Because your magic recharges, use skills liberally in battle. Don't just attack. Finally, using the defend command allows you to regenerate magic and HP more quickly, as well as in increasing defense. Adrian has a particularly powerful defend ability. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Let's fight. 
Okay, I think I might have only got hit once. Oh, I had to press the A button to get into this. Ah, uh, let's use the power shot. Uh, okay, so I also have, like, another meter for crystals. Maybe that's, like, a special move? Okay, I don't have any anymore. So the green meter is just your ATV meter. Ow! That dumb lizard threw a rock at me! Some abilities produce status effects. These are unique effects, but most are elemental. Fire magic burns, decreasing health over time. Water magic freezes, lowering defense. Earth magic has a chance to stun targets. Air can silence, making enemies unusable. Making e abilities unusable. Blah, I can't read today. Medical herbs and certain abilities will remove those status effects. Okay, so my character was stunned for a little while. I'll just attack the lizard. Yeah, it's dead now. Alright, so let me look for that scout ability, shall we? It's just right here. Okay, so that's 20 HP, and you get a free attack just by doing this. So there's really no detriment to using it at all. I win. That's a lot of experience gained. Two coins, I got a crystal, and I reached level two instantly. Ugh, I hate those things. Well, I found a crystal at least. I still need some stardust and some herbs. There are any in this place. Okay, so every time you level up, you gain a skill point to increase stats like attack and defense. But I can reset my skills for a price at any inn or a special safe area. Talani, the traveling merchant, will provide this service as well, albeit at an increased price. Oh, so I can remove my stat, stat points or skill points and then reapply them elsewhere. Your base stats are displayed rather than your stats as they are augmented by equipment. Press up or down to increase or decrease the stat, and press enter to confirm your selection. Okay, so agility increases the rate your action bar is filled, as well as slightly increasing your dodge rate. Attack increases the damage of attacks and weapon-based skills. Defense increases your resistance to physical attacks and skills, increasing your health slightly. Intelligence increases the effectiveness of all abilities and provides magic defense. Magic increases the size of the resource pool used for abilities. I think we'll go with attack right now. So I'll have a little bit more damage. Alright, so let's take a look at my stats. So I don't gain any MP because of this, but that's okay. Well, there's two structures I can enter. I've got 15 coins, so yeah, explore pots if you get the chance. I wish I could use the D-pad. I'll probably have to fix it up at some point. Because it gets a little slippery. There's a ghost. Ah! Uh... It's gone. Did... Did I really see that? The darkness here must be messing with my head. Ah, oh, stupid Adrian. This place can't really be haunted. Stardust, how convenient. Alright, some stardust. Oh, that was lucky. This stuff doesn't grow on trees. I still need an herb. There must be one around here someplace. Nope, nothing in that jar. Alright, let's keep looking around. I wonder if that key will open something. Interact with that statue? No. Okay. Fair enough. How you doing? Look around. Maybe there are some ingredients for a life potion around here. Huh. Can't jump over here. Inexplicably, this sign says, Try jumping. I was like, good luck taking advice from random planks of wood. Maybe I'll try this. It worked. Oh. If 
on an herb. Good. That's one of the things Adrian needed for a life potion. It's everything he asked for. I should go bring the stuff back to him. Can I check this out too? Oh, I guess that's Game's way of saying, don't go yet. I found the things he wanted. Good. Take a pinch of each and combine them together. That's how you make a life potion. Okay, press escape or B button to open your menu. Selecting the items, select the utility crafting option. This is the crafting menu. Let's go over a few basics to get started. Items highlighted in gray are locked. Scroll over items to see instructions on how to unlock them. Items that are red are unlocked, but cannot be crafted because you lack the necessary resources to do so. Items that are green can be crafted at present. The effects of an item are displayed here. Special or unique effects are displayed here. Here, resources need to, needed to craft an item are displayed as well as the resources that you currently possess. Okay, so I obviously can't make a bow of echoes yet. But I can make... Okay, so... There you go. It also shows your stats. And you get your condition somewhere in a town. So I need to go to Aloria to be able to craft these types of uh, armors. And for these weapons, I need to go to Orlean Village. Okay, so we will hand on her shop in the springs to get this stuff. Alright, let's make a life potion. So I need like one crystal, one stardust, and one herb. Yay, crafting was successful. Here, I made the potion. Great, thanks. Here, let me have it. That's better. I can feel it working already. That would have been an awful walk home with a busted ankle, huh? Should have brought some with us. That's one of the problems with being broke, huh? Fortunately, that'll stop being a problem if we find the ring. How do you know it was a ring we need to look for? I don't know what's gonna happen here, so let's save. Okay, I already did save. Good. Um, let's take a look here. Should I have Lita in the back row? Yeah, I think I should. Looks like we'll have to swim. Think that heavy armor of yours will be okay, tough guy? I guess we're gonna find out. Rochi sparkles in the water and press the X button to swim. Yep, it's fine. That was a fish. Can I get it? No. Hidden around here? I guess there was no reason to swim this way. So I guess we're just going over here. Ah, good thing I did pick up a key. Damn! Looks like this door is locked. See the old padlock on there? Hmm. Oh, hey! I found a key when I was looking for the ingredients for that potion. Oh, yeah? Does it fit the lock? Let's see. It worked! Well, that's a lucky break. I wasn't looking forward to trying to bash this thing open. Wow! This really is an underground castle! No one's been down here for a thousand years. Seems like a good place to hide a magic ring to me. Oh! It's a magic ring now? Did I, uh, neglect to mention it was a magic ring? I'm certain something very bad is going to happen to us down here. Okay, so when it comes to battles, you have to run into them. So, that's pretty convenient. What are Adrian's skills? Uh, Cyclone targets everyone. And Power stri Strike is for one enemy. Physical ignores defense. Can cause bleed. And, uh, let's just do Cyclone. And it kills the bats instantly. Health, but not magic, slowly regenerates outside of combat. The item will flash white once our party is entirely healed. Note that it isn't necessary to move for this regeneration to occur like other games, like this one. You can stand in place. 
Oh, we don't have to worry about that because we never got hit. I think I'll fight a couple more enemies and I'll end the episode. There, I'll get Adrian some of his MP back. So yeah, let me show off how story mode works. It's an instant kill. So if you're fighting enemies for no reason... Like, let's see. Let's see what happens if I leave. And go back in. Do the bats return? Yes, they do. Alright, so why don't we save? And I'm gonna stop here. So in the next part, we'll see what else is in this castle. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for watching.